Hey everybody, it's James Breedwell, the Go 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 Guy, and I want to thank you for stopping in and checking out my channel. Hey, you know, on my Go 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 van, I have Revelation 1 through 22. I have, uh, please read uh, John 3 16. And, you know, the pastor preached on this one yesterday, uh, Pastor Greg Locke, Mighty Man of God. I'm, I'm telling you, it was just amazing. Um, I record the, the sermons and I listen to it over and over through the week. And um, but this is a this is one that God's told me to do here. I'm actually going to put Matthew chapter 24. Uh, I'm going to put that on my go 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 in too. Please read Matthew uh, chapter 24 um, in uh, all the way through. Um, it it's amazing what God has let us know what's happening. Um, and to get ready um and it's so important that we let people know we need to go 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 and tell the world about jesus because we are living in the end times guys i'm telling you right now um and you know we all fall short of the glory of god we all sin we're going to sin when we wake up we're going to sin as we go to sleep uh that uh, after the day is over but we need to repent. We need to thank God for what he's done in our life. We need to say, Lord, please forgive us. Forgive, forgive me of my sins, um, you know, uh, my wicked ways. God, please um, just ha have mercy. And, uh, you know, God will do that, you know. And um, if you've never accepted Jesus as your personal Savior, you need to say that. You need to know that Jesus died on that cross for your sins and that he... That precious blood washes those sins away, and you need to repent. You need to call out in Jesus' name, say, Lord, please forgive me for my sins, and please be my king. Let me be your child, um, and uh, he, will, he will come into your life, and he will save you, and you will be born again. Um, and that is the gospel. Um, you know, Jesus died and went to hell, and he took your sins to hell, and it's a gift. He is the sacrifice lamb, and so you need to accept him as your personal savior. You either serve the devil or you serve God. And um, like I said, we all fall short of the glory of God. Not one of us deserves his love. Um, but it's just like a gift under the tree, you know, at Christmas time. you got to go get that gift. You just can't see it and say, oh, well, yeah, it's there. you gotta, you got to believe. you got to you gotta step out in faith. And you got to accept him as your Lord and Savior. He will come into your life and he will change it. Um, anyway, that is my um, prayer, is that if you don't know Jesus as your personal Savior, that you would call out to him. You know, I have been doing a uh, series on the prodigal child. And right after this video, I'm going to do my fourth chapter on that. I ask you that you pray for my, my babies. Um, and my family, and I will be praying for your babies and your family, and let's go, 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 and tell the world about Jesus. Um, please go to my YouTube channel, The Go, Go, Go Guy, and subscribe, and I would totally appreciate that, and uh, yeah, like I said, I'm going to put this on my van. Once I get the funds, I'm going to put this on both sides of my van, right underneath um, John three sixteen and um, please, please read Revelation 1 through 22, and hopefully somebody will see that and, and, and take heed and do it. All right. Love you guys. Let's go, go, go tell the world about Jesus.